If you've ever had this problem with an Asana task where it could go in different places, but you're not sure which to choose and you don't wanna to have to create two tasks for you to have to manage, I have a solution for you. This problem comes up quite a bit for my clients, but it is honestly easily fixed. This is one reason why it's a really great idea to have an Asana expert like me on your team. Things like this come up all the time and instead of wasting your time trying to search how to do something, or trying to figure out the best way to solve a problem or searching YouTube for videos like this one to show you how to do it, you could just ask me and have your answer right away. <laughs> That's why I started offering Back Pocket Consulting as a new service. If you want an Asana and online business management expert in your back pocket to ask questions to, get support on your systems and processes, or anything related to Asana or online business management, head to samanthakasbrick.com consult and take back control of your business with my support. Okay, now let's get started with this tutorial. So there is actually a way that you can have just one task appear in multiple projects in Asana while keeping it just as one task. That means you can change anything within the task and it will change in every place that it is located. Let me show you how to do it and what exactly I mean. So let's say this task is something that I want in my demo project, but I also kind of want it in my second project, <laughs> is that what I called it? My second project, <laughs> these are both just demo projects. Um, well, so let's say I really want it in both of these projects because it just makes sense to have it in both places and the people working on it are in both in, in you know this project but not in this one but it makes sense to be in both blah, 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 blah. whatever the case is, whatever your reason is for wanting it in multiple places but not wanting to create multiple tasks for it because then if you complete the task you have to check it complete in both places if there's anything to update you have to update it in both places nobody wants that we are not doing that here's how you can store it in both projects so let's say we're working with this task called tasks i have very unique names don't i <laughs> so creative uh, all right so here we're in the task and all we do you see this project label here so you can see that it's in the demo project you click this add to projects button and you can add it to any other project. So you can add it to the second project. You can also add it to even more than that. You can add it to as many projects as you would like. You can even choose the section you want from here. I only have the untitled section in the second project, um, but you can see like I can change it to section and it'll move to section. <laughs> Again, very unique labels. Um, all right, and then if you decide it actually, mm, I don't really want it in this task anymore, you can just click this X and it will disappear from the demo project. Um, but we will add it back because I'm going to show you something else. Let's put it back under section two. Okay, so now you can see, so if I change anything in this task, it is literally the exact same task in both spots. It is one task that exists in two places. So if I assign it to myself here and I add something in the description and I add a subtask, I don't know, I'm just, just doing all the things. Um, task. <laughs> I really need to come up with better names. Okay, so then I can, so you see I changed it here, right? But then if I go to second project, you can also get there just by clicking here. Um, so we'll click there and we'll be in second project now. You can see the task exists here and you can see all the changes I made are still there. So if I click out of it, if I click back into it, all of those changes are there. If I mark it as complete, it marks as complete here and it also marks as complete in demo. So it is just one task. And this comes in really handy uh, for lots of different uh, areas in your business, I'm sure. For me, I personally love to keep tasks in my 2024 business plan. This is like for planning my projects for the year. So I will have the task in there, but I also wanna keep track of it in a different spot. So say I'm working on my Asana Essentials, I need to create a new sales page. Um, so that's a big project that I wanna to add to my biz planning uh, so that I know that I'm working on that you know, next month, but it also it belongs in my Asana Essentials project because that's what it has to do with, right? So I can have it in both of those places and it works seamlessly. <laughs>
All right, I hope so much that that was helpful for you. If there is anything you want to know how to do in Asana, leave it in the comments below. I might just create a video on it. I love to help you, so it helps me to know what questions you have that I can help answer in a future video. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. I will see you next week. Bye.